Okay, we're back at camp. Uh, there are some shards around here, I believe, that we need to find. That we found earlier. Yes, I believe so. Oh, well, hello. Ah, your worship. Just watching out for local wildlife. Little glory, but it has to be done. It's just one bear that's become a problem. A huge one. Oh. Bigger than I've ever seen. It's rampaged through camp a few times, ripping apart our supplies. One of our workers broke his leg trying to get away. Next time, we might not be so lucky. It must be upset that we're in its territory. It's it or us, so far as it's concerned. So you want me to kill a bear? Um, why am I not surprised? Bears seem to be the bane of my existence since I've joined the Inquisition. You know, I rarely ever even saw a bear before I joined the Inquisition. And now, they're everywhere, and they're always trying to kill me. And now you want me to go hunt a bear and kill it, because we're in its territory. Oy, okay. Alrighty then. I do what I must. Shard! <sighs> Here, another shard. Let's see. It's up this way. It is. There it is. I hear yet another one. Where? There, maybe? Uh. Uh, I think it's up there. Not that way. Okay. There it is. And isn't uh, the cave that they're talking about, isn't that the one we were just in earlier? Because there was a rift there and now, okay, so maybe the bear went away because of the rift and now it's back. Oh! Okay, there they are. I'm sorry, bears. I realize this is your home. Where'd you go? Oh my, that is a big bear. Big bear. We need to take care of the big one. Cool. Okay, well... Okay. I feel like Cole needs to take a rest. When we get back to camp, we will we will we will send Cole to take a nap. All right, so we're done with the bear. Okay. Here are shards, I think. Maybe over this way? Uh, 
Okay. Oh, there's a shard. Oh, what's over here? Track the great brute to the middle of the graves. I hate this place. Elves, Elven curses on every tree. But it'll be worth it. Camille will have to pay attention. If she sits in that clumsy fool's lap for a cub's pelt, just think all she'll do for me when I bring... Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. What are we looking for? Ah. Run around this way. Oh, look, there's an Asturium. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do here. Alluvia, owing primarily to the popular Orlesian tale of the same name, the constellation Alluvia is commonly referred to as sacrifice. During the Glory Age, folklore told of a young woman saved from a lustful mage by being sent into the sky by her father, after which the mage killed him, hence the sacrifice. The daughter became the constellation depicted as a seated woman. Ah. Okay. Okay. I don't know what's down here. Oh, look! Ever take off your armor and talk to it? No. It might say something nice. Okay. Freeman. Okay, cool. This is where they're strongest. Oh! Sister Costo has fallen. I'm surprised it took so long. She was soft. Okay. Freeman's orders. Alrighty then. We went that way, so let's go this way. Ah, Watcher's Canyon. Oh, I wonder if we're finally going to run into... Uh, Fairbanks. Fairbanks is expecting you as a can. Oh, Watch okay. Yourself. I'd like to trust you, but... Well... Understandable that you don't trust me just yet. Ah, there he is. I assume that's him. It is an honor to meet the Herald of Andraste. Am I everything you hoped for? I hope I don't disappoint. Not at all. But as they say, actions speak louder. As my mistress True. stated, we can help each other. You have encountered the Freemen. Aggressive bastards, no? They've killed a dozen of my people. We've tried to fight, but we cannot match their strength. You can. Why should you care about this, you ask? 
Because the free men are colluding with your enemy. Uh, my enemy, huh? And which one would that be? I have many. Which enemy do you mean? The rogue Templars. I've seen them through the woods, heading for the Freeman bases, leaving with crates. Destroy the Freeman, and they lead you straight to the Red Templars. This, I promise. All right, I'll see what I can do. I'll look into this, Fairbanks. All my information about the Freeman is right here in our camp. Help us, and everything I know about the Dales, about these woods, I will share with the Inquisition. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Um, what's up here? I'm just going to explore for a bit. Thank the maker. I mean, we finally did find Fairbanks, so that's good. After wandering around and, you know... Taking on a haunted mansion and giant bears and giants. Oh, flag. All right. Sounds great. There is a dragon in the area. and We will eventually have to take on the dragon. Yeah, but for now. Um, ah, okay. Ah, look at all that. They have their nice little hideaway. I'm standing because of you. I've little to give. But I'll always be grateful. How were you captured exactly? And I remember you. You were locked up in that cage. How did you end up in the Viridium mine? Oh. We desperately needed supplies and tried to steal some from the Freemen. The mine didn't seem well guarded, and I used to be in the militia in my home village. I don't know why we weren't killed. I do remember Sister Cousteau talking about sending us to the Empress de Lyon. Maybe I was mistaken. I can't imagine what they'd do with us there. Um, I know what they would do to you. Uh, th you do not want to know what they would have done. So I'm so glad that I got you out of there. How are you since you left the mine? I hope things are going well. The supplies we salvaged from Custo's mine have been a great help. Thank you again for saving us. Well, you're very welcome. They were hurting and we helped. Their lives are better because of us. All right, we got rid of some stuff, finally. Wonder what Fairbanks will do now the war oh. Over. Uh, I wonder why this is here. I wonder if there's a rune nearby. Anything in there? Let's check. Fairbanks is a good man. We owe him much. I can't believe he's making us hide out here like mice. Oh, look at that. Okay. All right, cool. Damned Fairbanks and his concern for everyone. Inquisitor, you saved Gertrude and the others. Thank you so much. Uh, this is bold of me, but if I could have a moment. Uh, what do you need? I'm here. What do you need? This... This is about Fairbanks. There is a rumor that he is of noble blood. Once the war is over, many of us will return to serve our lords, to work our fields, raise our brats. And most of the aristocracy know little of the lives of commoners. They care nothing for us. Fairbanks is different. He is a great man. There is much he could do if he had the power. If the rumor is true, if Fairbanks is noble and we have proof, do you see what I'm saying? Okay, let's talk about this rumor. This rumor about Fairbanks being noble. What do you want me to do about it? 
Oh, I... I don't mean to impose, but... You travel all over the Dales, don't you? Perhaps if you found something that could help... I've written everything I know in my journal. You can look at it. Okay, what... <laughs> Does Fairbanks know about this? Does Fairbanks know about this rumor? Uh, he doesn't like it. And he won't let me discuss it. Stubborn ass. <laughs> I mean, I don't really understand why you're so interested in him possibly being a noble either. So, what do you know about him? What else do you know about Fairbanks? He found us when we most needed him. He kept us safe. He doesn't like to talk about himself, so I... I actually don't know much about him. Oh. Well, what about the rest of the people here? I'd like to know more about you and the rest of the people here. Most of us are simple folk. Farmers, fishermen. Ojolen over there is a smith. Just people trying to escape the war. Okay. Good to know. Goodbye. Uh, Fairbanks looking at an old gold medallion as I walked past him. It bore the image of some kind of bird to the sun blessed. Okay. I mean, I, I don't really understand why she wants him to be a noble. Does it matter? He's helping them, right? So, I'm not really sure why it matters. But, you know, I'll look into it for her. And if I find anything, then I'll let her know. Alright, so I think there's something possibly this way. Feel like there might be. Besides Rash Fine. Ah! There it is! Ah, some more rash fine. Sister Costo is dead. Yes. Oh, look. We got people. <laughs> and you're dead um we're the inquisition that's who we are oops Ah, flag. Andraste's lights. Ah, okay. You've imposed Andraste onto the Dales. That's what you've done. Warden Commander Clarel wasn't like you, Cassandra. I never met Clarel, but I will take that as a compliment. She fell because she fell. That's how Aramond convinced her to hurt people. He made it look like bravery. She called it a choice, but it was a lie. She was afraid. You aren't afraid. You won't fall. Thank you, Cole. I appreciate that. What of Magister Eremond? Do you sense a secret pain in him? No. Eremond is an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Eremond is an asshole. Yes, I absolutely agree with that. 
think we're done over here. Possibly? Maybe? That's our wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's our camp. Okay. Wait, did I just end up back where we were? I think I did. Was hanging on the thing. Can I grab it? Well, you know what? What if we get on the tree? I mean, I can try, right? Wonderful. I mean, wasn't really worth climbing a tree for that, walking on a tree. But I satisfied my curiosity, and that's what counts. All right, let's go this way. You saved my people. We'd given them up for dead. Perhaps the stories are true. Oh, really? Um, so let's talk about the Freeman of the Dales first and foremost. Um, they seem to have been giving you a lot of problems. Who are these Freemen of the Dales? Most are deserters from the war, tired of fighting and dying for a cause in which they have no stake. But recently, the Freemen have organized started attacking anyone and everyone. Their new leaders are driving them to take the Dales for themselves. Yeah, I mean, deserting because you don't agree with the war and all that, I mean, I, I understand, that's one thing. But then turning into basically criminals and mercenaries, like, not even mercenaries, just going around killing random people for no reason, that doesn't, that's not very, uh, that's very, that's not very noble of them. So, let's talk about this civil war. What is your opinion of the Civil War? When I quarrel with my cousin, wine is spilled. Perhaps someone loses a tooth. When Celine feuds with hers, a country is torn apart. It's over now. But it will take years to recover from the damage. Yes, I agree. It is over now, and, um, but it, there's gonna, there, there's so much left to do. So, I hear you might be a noble. Your friend back there seems to be a little bit obsessed about it. There's a rumor circulating that you're of noble birth. <sighs> oh, Clara, I told you not to pursue this. Pay that rumor no mind. I'm not noble, nor would I desire such. Okay, well, what about the camp then? Tell me about your people. Simple people. Most have lost family. All have lost their homes. I found a few, helped them, found this cave for shelter. Word spread and more came. Even with the war over, some are afraid to leave. Where will they go? I mean, that's a good point. All right, thank you. I need to be going. Good day then. Okay. Sometimes. Now that's a uh, cheery thought there. Good day. Oh, we have uh, we have something else here. What is going on up here? Oh, look at that. Do I hear a shard? I feel like I hear a shard. Ooh, blood lotus or blood lotus oh my goodness bloodstone i mean i could really use some blood lotus right about now i feel like i'm gonna need it oh there is some red lyrium All right, what's in here? Oh, all right, Cole, you're up. Thank you. The 
something's in here. The shipments are prepared, and once again, the rats from Watcher's Reach are getting in my way. Okay. Well. Huh. What's over here? The Midwife's Journal. This has been the coldest winter. Even the river's frozen. No one it should be out there. Uh, she's looking for Fairbanks Cottage. I go out. I say to her, nothing fair about this weather. But yes, you are the right place. Throws back her cloak and I see she is heavy less than two weeks away. Please help. She's almost in tears. I bring her into the house. She is young, not more than 20. Her hands are smooth. They have not seen a day of work in her life. Her clothes are travel-stained, but fine. The cloak must be worth at least 50 royals. Beautiful blue. Her name is Bernice, but she won't say more. Many girls come here not wanting to say who they are. Uh, she has had the baby, a boy, healthy, full of hair. A uh, full head of hair. She named him... Everest. She tried to pay me with a heavy gold locket, a falcon on its face. I asked her what it was. It looks valuable. She says it's her father's. And she doesn't care to have it anymore. I tell her she might she might not, but her son might one day want to know where he's from. A new year, Bernice should be healthy enough to leave, but it is still cold and I just cannot turn her out. I will ask her to stay and be my assistant. I have needed help for a while. My fingers are not as nibble as they used to be. Okay. That may, in fact, be proof of Fairbanks' nobility. Interesting. Okay. Alrighty, then. So that was that. Oh, uh, we have more. Let's take care of them. <laughs> Alright, he's down. That one's down. We have more over here. Oh, we have a big one. We have a big one. There you go. <laughs> oh, he's a big one. Build, taking advantage of the chaos of war. Yeah. They're horrible. Oh, we have a new bow. Well, maybe Sarah would like it. You know, I think I need to swap Cole out with Sarah. Maybe bring Sarah along for a rot for a little while. Well, those are that's an interesting painting. Uh, August has made progress in the Exalted Plains. We are together in this, but Maker's Breath, how that irks me. That weapon or whatever secret is hidden in those glyphs is mine by rights. Maleficent, Malef Maleficent trusts me most. Okay, then. Well. An old painting. Portrait shows a lord as he looked over 40 years ago. He bears a striking resemblance. Yeah. Alright then. What was that? Okay. Let's go. Uh, 